It is time for... Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector, welcome back to the YouTube channel. So in today's video, Wicked Family, we are going to talk about a multi-game card from a friend from China. And if you're new to the channel thinking, hmm, multi-game cards, yes. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell, because we have a lot of awesome stuff going around here on the channel. So it comes with this label, uh, I'm guessing it's more if you want to use an original NES. Yeah, you're going to need it, but I don't need it because I am going to play this on my HDMI NES Retro Trio Plus. Yeah, so no need for this. Comes in the sleeve, pretty cool, without any naughty decals. So the card with itself. Mm, the first thing I'm noticing that you were having two menus, but yes, this is something unique. Forever Games of NES, this is the best, or they're saying this is the best multi-game card you can get. Because this is a multi-game card inside. A multi-game card, yes, that is pass really wicked. It comes in this very nice black cartridge, I really like it. A little bit of shim of the top over here that there's not a name like Forever of NES. It's a little bit of a bummer. I have detail, I have detail. I'm very curious what kind of games are we going to get. It feels quite heavy. Ah, it smells chemical, so this is going to be a blast. Let's play some games. Woo! -hoo. Alright, so when powering on the system, this is what we're going to get. It's a pretty basic menu, 8-bit style of course. So what you can see at the bottom, we're having select swap card. So let's press select. Holy crap, it's like freaking magic. Indeed, you can swap through an other multi-game card, so that's pretty weird. We have no clue why they did it, but okay, let's take a close look at the first multi-game card. I'm going to give you a quick scroll through. Everything is on alphabetic order, so, order, so this is pretty nice. Challenge. There's even a Castlevania one, that's what does this says? Challenge of the Dragon, Circus Charlie. So basically every freaking game you can think of is on this. So the question is, are they so naughty that they're putting a Mario game on it? Uh, let's see. Okay, wait. Legend of Gates, Legend of the Lion. So there was no Legend of Zelda. There's no Mario game? Hmm. That's pretty weird. Pinball, we have two pinball games. Okay, let's see. Oh, they have more Trojan. Let's go. Okay, so we're having 405 games on this first one. Okay, we have a Zelda 1 and 2. Ooh, that's naughty. Alright, let's check the second cartridge. Let's see what we're going to get. And we're having quite some games. So, still, it's a cool they have alphabetic order, but it is a really pointless because we're having two lists. So you still need to through, yeah, scroll through the two lists, finding your games. But I'm getting the idea, there are no double games on it. Are they serious going to learn it? Is it? I can't believe it, man. I can't believe it. <laughs> Alright, let's see how many games we have on this one. It's a totally new list, as you can see. There's still no Mario games, so basically I'm guessing they skipped the Mario games. Did they? Searching the super, super car, super glove ball. Wow, they made, they didn't add them. <laughs> 400, 416, there are even more games on this part than the other one. Way more games. It's a lot, man, it's a lot. So yeah, there's one gigantic collection, if you ask me. Okay, let's play some games, let's see how they're running. Oh, my God. 
Alright guys, for the final conclusion, what do I think of this best forever blah 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 NES multi game card? So, is it the best multi game card I've played so far? Yes it is. It's still missing out some game. By the way, I've noticed some Mario games, for example Dr. Mario is on it. I have seen them, this was a little bit hidden. Or just, or just didn't see the first time. But, for example, I did notice the glitch on Asterix. It did glitch out. I didn't show you because I just wanted to tell you. Uh, the same function works with Zelda. I tried it, so it's safe. So that's also not a problem. All right, so do lists. I have really no clue why. Do you? Do you have an uh, idea why they are doing this? Because it's pretty damn annoying. Finally, we have alphabetic order, but still you need to search through a gigantic list. Gigantic. We've got 800 games divided over two multi-game cards or two lists. Still is a little bit annoying. So this is what you're going to get. Let me know what you think of this. Wanna thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. And if you like gaming, don't forget to check out the Wicked Gaming channel. See you next time. Yeah. Let's go.